guys, what's up? Welcome to the next episode right here, the number two vlog, whatever you want to call it. Um, so I said before, I think I was going to do some match reviews of mine. I think I want to start off with um, my first pro wrestling match. We'll kind of look back over the years after, um, after <clears throat> this episode. Um, we'll look back at the SCCW. I want to look at two matches in particular and they're really it'll be like a trilogy of matches between <clears throat> myself and Jeremy Lewis that we look at uh, I think that it's extremely important to understand context whenever it comes to the SCCW stuff you see whenever I've, I've been wrestling with them they haven't had a ring or anything like that you know so it, it's a little bit different than wrestling for South Central Wrestling where there's a ring, there's a crowd, there's an audience versus no ring, no crowd, no audience. So, and like I said in the last video, I was very disgruntled uh, throughout a lot of this stuff with SCCW and still kind of am because it's been over a year and there have been promises left, you know, out in the dark the beginning of the year or the near the end of last year I believe there was uh, they made contact with me and from the way the video looked they did a roster showcase video and I was in it uh, but also there was a lot of other guys in it and <clears throat> I haven't heard a damn thing from them since apart from the fact that there's gonna be a tournament to crown the SCW uh, champion in uh, the foreseeable future, I guess. So I'm still pretty disgruntled. I'm pretty pissed off, honestly, at the fact that I haven't heard anything more from them. It doesn't feel like anything's happening. You know, I put my first, I don't know, uh, first. 15 years into the SCCW as far as wrestling at all. You know, they've changed, their name has changed, but they've been the same promotion pretty much <clears throat> since the start. And I, I don't really get it, you know. Um, I've done a lot for them, and they could at least have the courtesy to talk to me about some stuff. But they don't. They don't talk to me. They haven't talked to anybody as far as I know. And I can't just sit patiently and wait for responses. You know what I mean? So we'll get to the SCCW stuff here after a little bit. Because first I want to touch on my first pro wrestling match. And we're going to go ahead and look at that today. This is Adam Gregory, Jeremy Lewis at SCW October Fight Night on the 22nd of October 2022. Uh, we're going to go ahead and look at this. You'll hear me talking throughout it uh, I'll be just doing a voiceover I'm not going to do a, a picture in picture I may do that at a later point but right now I'm just going to do the voiceover commentary on it and then we'll jump back on the video and talk and give it a star rating after that uh, and I, I think it's very important to note this is my first professional wrestling match so it's going to be kind of clunky um this is Jeremy Lewis's first professional wrestling match as well, so take it for what it is. It's it was a lot of fun for me getting in, getting into a new promotion, being able to wrestle somebody who I've wrestled before, I have a little bit of a rapport with, but also uh, someone that I have history with as well, someone that I've. Someone that I've had history, had history with, and I may go into detail on that near the end of the vlog, um, and kind of just put some. I may put some like pictures right about here, somewhere in this area, uh, and let y'all see just a little bit of the pictures, uh, maybe screenshots from matches that we've had in the past where uh, things have happened. So that way y'all have a better idea of what kind of went down between me and Jeremy Lewis. You know, I can break the story down to you. I can let you know what happened. 
as far as the SCCW goes. And we're still not really on good terms, you know? So, I mean, it's... It's just something that happens sometimes. So, let's get into the video, let's get into the match, and we'll go ahead and talk about it after... Uh, we'll talk a little bit about everything afterwards. I'll see you in a little bit. First off, I want to say that it was really cool being able to be in there and... and work in a promotion that's been around for years now in Mount Pine and all around the Hot Springs area. They performed in the uh, Boys and Girls Club, which is now uh, the Lions Event Center or something like that. I can't remember, but um, <clears throat> it was it was a really cool thing. And, and it's awesome being able to be on uh, South Central Wrestling programming uh, whenever it comes to this stuff. As you can see, there's been a lot of people, big names come through South Central Wrestling. And I'm lucky enough to say that I've been able to be a part of that now. Uh, like I said, this is the first match that I ever had, first professional wrestling match that I've ever had. Oh man, look at me. Really trying to get it in there. I didn't have no entrance gear, nothing like that. Um, and it, it was it was just a wild experience. The adrenaline was crazy going into this match. Um, I had so much adrenaline going through me. I was so energized. It was nerves. Uh, I'm not gonna lie at all. It was all nerves. Uh, I think it was uh, one of the best memories of my life, apart from my two kids being born. It was one of the best memories I ever had in my entire life, and uh, it was it was a lot of fun, you know. So uh, look at me. I didn't know he <laughs> referee pointed me out to the corner I was supposed to go into, and I, I had no clue about it. I was just like, oh, over here. You know, me and Jeremy have faced off against each other so many times in the past, and I talked about talking about the uh, history between us later on um, a little bit earlier I was talking about the his going through the history at the end of the video but I'm gonna kind of give you a little light recap we were actually a tag team in the beginning um, not in the very beginning but whenever he first started wrestling in uh, the SCCW me and him got together and really kind of hit it off after we had a bumpy start you know so it, it was it was a cool experience then and a whole bunch of different things happened to kind of make us to where uh, bring us to where we are today should I say all right it is time for our first match of the night we will have two SCW newcomers tonight we have Adam Gregory facing off against Jeremy Lewis Dean why don't you go ahead and make those introductions in the ring Dean Introduction. This first match is a 30 minute time Dean limit and is set for one the fall. Man himself. Introducing first, hailing from Hot Springs, Arkansas, standing at 5 foot 6, weighing 160 pounds, he is simply the best, Adam Gregory. Look at that, look at that. Got the name tag and everything, name card uh, on there. And his it opponent, is pretty, hailing it's pretty from wild Memphis, Tennessee, experience. standing at 6 foot 2. Weighing 260 pounds, the whole thing, really. he is the Superman of submission, Jeremy Lewis! Your referee is John. You can see me, whenever it goes back to me, just kind of shifting my weight. And people have told me I looked scared in this match. I wasn't scared. Because like I said, I faced off against Jeremy several times in the past, but this was nerves. This was anxiety about doing good in my first pro wrestling match. This was uh, a whole different kind of experience than uh, anything I've had. Lock up here. And I mean, he's, he's huge. You can't deny that of Jeremy Lewis. He's 6'2", 265 pounds. He's raw power. I mean, there's, there's nothing but power in that guy. Gregory he had me locked in pretty out. good there, but I gave him a couple shots, oh, kind of weaseled my way out of it a little bit, got hit into a hammer right lock, now. and Lewis is reaching back behind him I, I was hoping really 
<laughs> that I can keep this locked in, maybe transition into something else. Right now. But oh, it didn't happen. Reversal. Whenever you're going against a guy that's and technically proficient, as much as I hate to say it, as technically proficient as Jeremy Lewis is, it's right it's kind of hard. Time. Especially with how big he is. I mean, like I said, 265 pounds is not a small guy. Um, got a nice arm wrench on me right there. Wrist lock. And that did not feel great. I can tell you that. that I, hammering on my arm. And this is not the, the first time. Luckily, I was able to get him into a wrist lock. I just thought quick and, and made the decision as fast as I could, you know. But as you can see, it's it's a lot of chain wrestling. And, and that's what this is. It's wrestling at the end of the day. It's two guys going out there trying to kick each other's ass. And keep the other one down for a three count or yeah, submit them. The and oh, here we go. Got a my goal out. was to, to defeat Jeremy Lewis. Uh, however, I had to, you know, I want to stay Trying within the rules. The um, the first Gregory. match in, I, I want to impress people. I want to make people look at me and say, this guy has got it. You know what I mean? He's got it. Whatever it is that they're looking for, he's got it. And... You know, obviously I did something right to get another match with the SCW. God, I can still feel that in my ribs. He was really wrenching on me. He was looking me up. He looked at me. He's looking me up like I'm a little rag doll. Really trying to crush there, there wasn't much I could do there. I mean, I did everything I could trying to get out of it, but it didn't do anything. You know. Now he's got me in the full Nelson. My neck. He's wrenching down on my neck. And that, Will that hurt Lewis like hell, you know. I put all my weight down to break that. Gregory reverses it. I had his arm gets trapped a, at that a, point, trying to, you know, make sure Lewis he couldn't here. grab me or stop me from moving around Into him, and he didn't. Lock. Luckily, the arm trap worked, and now, I was Gregory's able to get behind him. Now I've moves. got him down on my level. I've got him having to squat down, having to get down low to alleviate pressure from his Man, neck because really if he doesn't, I can just keep forward. wrenching on that thing. And up with each other. I, I guarantee you, after a long enough time period, he would have been out. Yet to see much offense he's trying to break out of it right now, though. Oh, nice but I didn't let it happen. See, that's that's what that's one of the advantages the of being a smaller guy. I'm able to feet. to get lower than he is. I'm able Gregory to trip him up and, and make neck. him fall down. Now, that, that, oh, that's a, that's an experience. Lewis, not have done is just a brick that was wall. not a smart move on my part. How am I think? How do I think I'm going to knock See him down? And now he's goading me on, and Lewis of course I fell right into it. You know, I thought, ropes. well, oh, I could do this, ow, but it did not happen. Him. He knocked me off my feet, completely decapitating me. Larry and, at yeah, the same metaphorically, time, he didn't really t cut my head off. Otherwise, I wouldn't be able to talk, you know. But I, I was running real here. short of breath right here. So I was having a hard time getting up. And that guy, strike there. he knows you Not can't allowed. use a closed you fist in SCW. That. You Keep can't punch with open. closed fist. Uh, and he came up and just clobbered potato right to the head. And slams it flat on his back. That will not be the last body slam you see in this match. Every time he slammed me down, wow. I felt like Lewis I wasn't able to Gregory breathe. Back up. I, I had a hard time getting up every single time. Gregory by the arm, throws him into the rope, shoots him across God. the ring. Oh, God nice dang, man. Line My neck. From Lewis on to Gregory. Gregory. I remember coming Peter out of this match here. at the end of it. I remember getting Get backstage and I had to put ice packs right on my neck. Uh, I just couldn't do anything. I'm kick. trying to Gregory fight down, back to as well as I can, but, you know, there's not a lot you can do with a guy as powerful as Jeremy Lewis. He has a lot of strength behind him. He has a lot of power. He has a lot of force. And, like, I mean, he just threw me like I was nothing just then. But I, I had to think on my toes. I had to think real quick because I was going to lose very shortly after this if I wouldn't have done something, you know. And I mean, Lewis I end up, did end up losing, ring. but yeah, I caught him off oh, guard with that. He did not expect for me to close line. He did not expect my someone goodness. my size, five foot six, Who would have 160 it? pounds, to be able Smaller to close line. Oh, and a Kill shot, kick super kick. From that was it. And that was Lewis it. I should have pinned him, but I did, the mouth, I did not. But that's inexperienced. That's rolling out nerves of the ring. being in your first match. Trying to put some space and that let him have the opportunity to roll out of the ring. Now, whatever whatever upset. actually goes down in this stuff, you know, you gotta really keep your eye out. You gotta Lewis move quick. You gotta be aware of your surroundings. 
And like I said, this is my first match, so I was not any of that. I was hoping the ref would get him counted out, but Jeremy was not happening. Kicks Lewis to See, the leg. I'm still trying Kicks to keep again. my offense going, kicking his leg, Slides trying to make sure that he doesn't have a leg to stand Getting on. Him. And well, like I said, not Lewis the last body up. slam. And that one hurt worse Gregory than the first. He back. actually put a lot into that one. Uh, that the pain. first one, he almost dropped me, it felt like. But it wasn't, I, I don't think it was because he wasn't strong enough to hold me up. Like I said, I'm, I'm a tiny really dude compared to him. I think. The first one, he just lost his grip or maybe he meant Gregory to just throw me. That one, he slammed me to the ground, and I felt the wind go out of my out. lungs. Doing but what I was can. saying about the leg kicks earlier is my dad always arm, told me, how do you beat somebody arm, in a fight? Out, you take their legs out. If they can't stand, it's a lot harder for them to fight. So that was the thought him. process, trying to keep my offense going there. The, Didn't end up happening, though. Takes Lewis, shoots him off the ropes. I am tired. Look at me. I am oh, out of it. Oh, God. Third Lewis. clothesline in the Gregory. match. He has knocked Looking my head off. He has had me in Lewis full Nelsons and headlocks, Lewis. all kinds of stuff. My this? neck and my head Got is dead. Oh, and then a choke slam. choke slam. See the back of my head Won't just bounce off of that One, mat. I'm two, done. Three. And that match Lewis with a strong was the his first match to really FCW. solidify my, in winner, my mind that Jeremy I could do this. Regardless Lewis. of the outcome, it's a learning experience. I have to learn from the mistakes that I made in this match and Lewis be able to not make those mistakes FCW. again to move forward. You know, Gregory. there's going to be plenty of matches that he's I don't win. There's going to be the plenty lights. of matches that <laughs> uh, I do well. win Maybe in the future. But this being luck. the first match, you learn from whatever you do. You learn from your mistakes, and you do the best you can. And I, I feel like that's what I did in this match. I feel like I did the very best that I possibly could have done. And, look, I, I was waving to the crowd, telling them, you know, I'm all right. You know, but I was beat up. I was hurt bad. Uh, my neck, my head. I was just sore all over, if I'm being honest, after that match. So, that match really had a lot of meaning to me, being my first pro wrestling match. You know, I, I got the chance to be in front of people for the first time. I got the chance to interact with the crowd. I got the chance to be on a bigger wrestling promotion than I've ever been in before. And, you know, it, it was an awesome opportunity. Had Cleric Baldwin on uh the uh on the commentary and he's now like diamond state wrestling he's another wrestling promotion here in the state plus scw it's a big uh, big name commentator there on commentary plus uh all kinds of other people were on that card that really stood out troy twain was on that card he was the first ever south central wrestling champion uh cruiserweight champion that's awesome you know, I got to see him go against a guy that's also in Diamond State Wrestling, uh, Pineapple Jack, you know. There there was just so many really cool things that happened on that show, apart from me being in the match that I was in. But I told you we'd talk a little bit about the Jeremy Lewis story. Let's go back to twenty, somewhere between 2012 and 2014. I can't remember what year it was. But the SCCW was trying to make a comeback under the or under one of their other names, the CWA. Before we were the SCCW, we were the CWA. And I've been there since the very, very, very beginning in 2007. So, like I said, 15 years of blood, sweat, and tears into that company. When I say our, I mean it. I feel like that is just as much mine as it is anybody who's running the show there. So, uh, Jeremy Lewis, a guy that had, you know, been around doing trampoline shows, promoting just this and that, you know, smaller events, got the nod to come in and be our new commissioner. And the world championship was re being reintroduced, and I had held the title more than anybody. Uh, at the time, I think it was five times or something. And no, it was four times. Anyways, four times I had held the world championship, the SCCW title, and I said, give me the championship because there was no one else in my mind at the time that could compete with me. You know, there was no other competition. Everybody else from uh, a time period uh, back whenever we had 12 to 15 people on the roster had gone and retired, had gone away. They, they hadn't returned or anything. 
So I was the logical choice, told him just give me the championship, and he refused and said he was going to set a match up, which that match did never happen because the company, it's like a roller coaster. It's downs and ups all the time. So <clears throat> that match didn't happen, but me and him started off rocky because he didn't just give me the championship. You fast forward to 2016, 2017, and Jeremy Lewis is named the special guest referee for the crowning of the new CWA World Championship. Like I said, I was still four-time champion then, and I was going against a guy named Hardcore Hayden. And Jeremy Lewis was named the referee, the special guest referee, by Commissioner Stoneface. Um, and he was uh, brought in to do the job. And me and him had talked a little bit before and came to an agreement. So that's kind of where our friendship started. We let bygones be bygones, and he helped me to win the world championship because Hayden flaked out like a lot of other people did in, in the SCCW, and there's nothing wrong with that. Some people just aren't built for the business. And he flaked out, you know, and I feel like me and Jeremy kind of saw that coming. So Jeremy got on my side and helped me win the title. And I won the world championship at that point in Team Superstar was born. We were going under another name, but we're not going to even talk about that. Um, we came out and we did this promo about how we were the best, yada yada. And there was the formation of Team Superstar. If we jump forward to 2018, 2019, that's when the SCCW started. That's when McNeil Enterprises really came into the picture. And we were still a team. You know, we were a team for like five, four or five years. Uh, all the way up to 2021. That's when we stopped being a team. Because in 2020, later in the year, Jeremy Lewis came up to me and he said, you know, I want to prove that I'm worth being a team member of yours, being on this team with you. And I tried to explain to him that he didn't have to do that. You know, I respected him a lot. I, I thought of him as a really good guy and wanted to, him to just continue on this path, me and him coming out, supporting each other, helping each other out. You know, I help him in his matches. He helps me in my matches, uh, just supporting each other. Because, you know, throughout this time uh, in Team Superstar, after the company rebranded as the SCCW, I, I had a whole new sense of purpose and I didn't want to disappoint people. I wanted to show people that they're going to get the best quality wrestling. And I really started to think, you know, maybe I've been an asshole a lot and I don't want to be that asshole anymore. So I uh, went through a little bit of a change and I wanted Jeremy Lewis and me to be on the same page and support each other. And we were for like I said, a good amount of time. Then he decided to leave the team to try to prove, like I said, that he was worthy to be on this team. Not to me, as he said, but to himself. But he didn't have anything to prove to me. And I know it's, he said it was about him. And maybe, uh, maybe I was a little bit wrong for doing what I did, but I'm over it. And I've been over it for a while now. Basically... We didn't talk but a couple of times, and you saw the times that we interacted. He didn't call me or anything. He didn't talk to me about nothing. Uh, he didn't try to say anything to me. He didn't... He didn't show an effort in Team Superstar. He didn't want to be part of that team in my eyes because he left. And he talked to me two or three times for the rest of the year. Well, July came rolling around, Scars and Stripes 2021. I was in a match. Uh, I was the SCCW champion at the time. And I was in a match against the SCCW social media champion, Marcus Woods. And it was just champion versus champion. See who the better is between the two of us. And at this point, I was disgruntled. I was not a good, good in the good, best mindset. And like I said, I'm still not as far as the SCCW goes. So um, I, I didn't end up coming out on top in that match. Not to say that Woods is a better wrestler than me. I don't think he is. I don't think he ever will be. But 
he wrestled me and he was the better guy in that match for that particular uh, show. After the match ended, Jeremy Lewis came out. Someone I haven't seen but two or three times in six months or more. Someone that I saw very few times backstage. Someone I saw very few times anywhere. Didn't talk to him on the phone. Didn't do nothing. But he came out and he tried to be there for me after my loss. And I had enough. You can't just leave and then come back after that amount of time and expect everything to be the same, everything to be okay. Because it wasn't. So I did what I felt like I had to do, and I don't regret it. You know, I look back and say, maybe I could have done things different, sure, but I don't regret it. He hugged me, I hugged him, and and I kicked his head off his shoulders. I gave him a kill shot super kick. And I told him I was the only superstar in this team. Because... I had to support myself. I didn't have anybody having my back like I thought I would. I thought I'd. I thought he would have had my back the entire time, but he didn't. He didn't have my back at all. There were six months. He could have called. He could have checked on me. I mean, matches with Wayne McNeil, matches with Marcus Woods, matches against other wrestlers that no longer are part of the SCCW. He could have called and talked to, but he didn't. He chose not to. He chose isolation instead of... Uh, reaching out and being there for someone who's supposed to be your best friend. So I kicked his head off his shoulders. I gave him a kill shot super kick like I did in that match that you just saw. And after that, we had a match on Fever Pitch. And I... I caught him with his pants down in a manner of speaking. I caught him second guessing whether to use the chair on me and he should have. He should have hit me with that chair square in the forehead. He should have knocked my lights out because he didn't. He hesitated. When he did, I kicked the chair straight into his face and I pinned him one, two, three. After that, those events led to the next couple of matches that we're going to talk about or that we're going to review. And that's kind of a light history of Adam Gregory and Jeremy Lewis. So, no, we don't talk that much. At all, really. We don't say anything to each other. If I see him anywhere, he has usually has a separate locker room at any events that we're at the same location. It'll take a little bit, and maybe, maybe one day we'll be able to have some sort of a friendship again. Maybe not. I don't know. But that's the history kind of a, me and Jeremy Lewis. I'm going to kind of center myself back in here now. So that that's the history of that. The hope is to be better with every match that I have. And I, I, I say consistently that I think I am getting better. I had a match against a guy named Mitch Black from Tokyo. No, it wasn't Tokyo. He was from Japan. That's all I know. I didn't understand what he was saying, uh, but I had a pretty, I think I had a really good match with him this past month and he, uh, he was a tough one, you know, he was a really strong guy. He was tough and he was hard to get a handle on as far as what he's going to do next. He's, he's just different, but I'm filming this today on the 9th of March on a Thursday. Tomorrow's Friday the 10th, and I believe if you keep an eye out on the SCW page, SCW Arkansas, right here on YouTube, my match with Mitch Black is on the next episode. So keep an eye out for that, guys, and we'll review it after we review probably those two Jeremy Lewis matches. Once we get done reviewing those matches... Uh, we will move on to probably Mitch Black, and then after that, we'll review my opponent for this month, which is the Diesel Dog. So, that being said, this is the end of episode two. It's a little bit longer, but I'm kind of expecting that as we go on. The matches, uh, the matches, 
the episodes to be slightly longer than they were before. Uh, until the next one, guys, I hope you have a great time and uh, stay tuned to see more of the reason why I am simply the best. And I will continue to address you as simply the best viewing audience. Like, share, and subscribe, and we'll talk to you next time. Later, guys.